Hey guys, it's Anaya Jade and welcome back to the channel. So today is Monday and we are going to do another short Bible study. So I think the last one that we did was Hebrews <clears throat> 13, 16. So we're going to be finishing up Hebrews 13, 16 today. I'm doing this on my camera so I will have um, a lot more time to just relax and go through it. Um, so let's get started. So Hebrews chapter 13 verse 16. I'm going to read the verse and then we're going to break it down. Um, I've already done the notes and things like that so I'm just going to share with you guys what I did. So. Hebrews 13 verse 16 do not neglect to do good and to share what you have for such sacrifices are pleasing to God so I circled do not neglect to do good and then I circled and highlighted neglect and then with a blue highlighter I went up and highlighted the word neglect and then looked the dictionary word up. So neglect means fail to care for properly. <clears throat> so and then do not neglect to do good. And I wrote a note on the side, don't seek revenge on those who hurt us. So do not neglect to do good. So our purpose is to do good no matter what we're supposed to love our enemies and treat people the way we would like to be treated um, so that was a note that I put down for that section um, and this section right here do not neglect to do good has no footnotes um, so moving on <clears throat> and to share what you have to share what you have. To share what you have has a footnote of verse. It is going to be reference to Romans chapter 12, verse 13. So let's go to Romans chapter 12, verse 13. Romans chapter 12 Hope you guys are having a good morning. I am finally I have a Monday off and Hopefully I can get everything I need to done today because uh, I start babysitting again Tuesday through Saturday and that never, I can't get anything done when I'm babysitting so I'm going to try to get everything I need to, do, need to do done today. So Romans chapter 12 verse 13 <clears throat> reads, contribute to the needs of the saints and seek to show hospitality. Now, I circled and highlighted contribute. Why did I not write the definition? Well, that's, that's good. I can, we can look up the, diction, um, the, word, the dictionary word for contribute together. So, let me go ahead and get my thing up right quick. Oops, no, I don't want that. Thank you. Okay. Contribute. Contribute. Perfect. <clears throat> okay, great. Okay, so the footnote for contribute to the needs of the saints. In reference to Romans chapter 
15, verse 25, 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 1, and 15, 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 1, and verse 12, Hebrews chapter 6, verse 10, chapter 13, verse 16, and 1 Timothy 6, verses 18. Now, <clears throat> I dragged this one footnote out, and I did some, let's see, let's, <clears throat> before we get ahead of ourselves, because this is a lot of references and, and a lot of information here just with this one um, sentence. So let's write down the definition for contribute. And I'm just going to let's do let's do pink. And I'm going to recircle this in pink. And I'm going to bring it. Hmm, let's do the definition down here. So I'm just going to bring this out. And we'll write the definition here. All right, so the definition for contribute is give in order to help achieve or provide something. Um, so we're going to write that down in black. Come on, give in order to help <clears throat> achieve or provide something. <coughs> And then I'm going to circle it in pink. Like that. And then I'm going to take my pink highlighter. And I'm just going to go back over it and highlight this word contribute in pink. And go down and then just do a little circle with the highlighter in pink. Okay. Then we'll go over here to my notes and write the definition to contribute as well in my notes. Do that real quickly. Let's do some reference lookups. So the first reference to contribute to the needs of the saints comes from Romans 15, verse 25. So let's just head over there. Here we go. Romans 15, verse 25. And it says, At present, however, I'm going to Jerusalem bringing aid to the saints. And that sentence, I am going to Jerusalem bringing aid to the saints, is references, you can find references to that sentence in Acts chapter 19, verse 21, chapter 20, verse 22, and 21. No, wait a minute. Uh, excuse me. Chapter 20, verse 22. Acts chapter 21, verse 15, chapter 24, verse 17, and verse 31. 
And so I highlighted that and I um, dated it. And let's see, is there anything down here? 1525. And the notes for chapter 15, verse 25 um, states The trip to Rome cannot be carried out immediately. Paul's next task is to travel to Jerusalem to bring the money he had collected for the poor saints there. And they have some um, reference scriptures for this one as well. Is it the same one? No. Um, these reference scriptures are 1 Corinthians chapter 16 verses 1 through 4 and 2 Corinthians chapter 8 through 9. So I'm just going to take my blue pen and just circle these references. And then All right, so moving on, yes, all right, so back to Romans 12, 13, yes, okay, so moving on. The next footnote is seek to show hospitality. So I circled the word seek and I circled the word hospitality. Um, this sentence will be in reference to Matthew's chapter 25, verse 35. So we can head over there. Did I see that? Look at my notes, but it's been. So let's go to Matthew 25, 35. I'm not sure why I didn't put that down there. Um, okay, we're just gonna go over there right quick. I'll write down my notes. So Matthew 25, 35. Matthew 25, 35. <clears throat> okay, no, I did not go to that one. Weird. Okay, so Matthew 25, verse 35 says, For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. So let's go ahead and highlight that. We're going to do that in green. Okay. And then put that highlighter up. Okay, and then we're going to take our purple. And as you can see, we have a couple of footnotes here. Um, I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you. So, let's underline, I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty. And that is going to be reference to Isaiah chapter 58, verse 7, Ezekiel chapter 18 verse 7 and 16 James chapter 2 verse 15 and 16 so I'm going to outline that and I'm going to connect connect 
niente No, it's gonna be gave me drink. <clears throat> We're gonna take our blue. And I like gave me drink. And that is gonna be reference to chapter Matthew's chapter 10, verse 42. I'm just gonna sort box that in like this. And then connect it to We'll take our highlighter and highlight it. Now I'm not going to highlight these. Uh, I think I have done that in, in the past. Um, but unless something really sticks out to me, I'm just going to box them up and then just connect it to the, the notes here. Um, <coughs> So the next footnote is, I was a stranger and you welcomed me. And that's going to be references to Job chapter 31 verse 32, Romans chapter 12 verse 13, Hebrews chapter 13 verse 11 and 2, and then 3 John chapter 5. So we're going to take our pink ink pen. I'll put that thing in front of me. And we're just going to put a box around that. And then box this as well. And then just, um, let's connect it this way. There we go. And of course, we're going to take our pink highlighter. <clears throat> and highlight it. <clears throat> now I'm going to date this for today's date, which is 4 30 18. Okay. I don't know why I missed that. Matthews 25:35 was in reference to Romans 12:13. Okay. All right. So let's see if there's any notes down here for 25. Nope. There's no um, reference notes to that particular verse in Matthews. All right, so we're going to go back to Hebrews and the next section we're going to look at is the sacrifices. Okay, wait a minute. What I first, what I did here to share what you have, I circled share and I defined it. A noun equals contribute proportion of the profits as a verb it equals um, have a portion with another um, split divide go halves on okay so the next footnote is going to be sacrifices are pleasing to God and that is going to be in order to Micah chapter 6 verse 17 and 8 Philippians chapter 4 verse 18 and what I can do is let me let me do let me do yellow I'm going 
going to set a uh, sacrifice. I'm going to circle sacrifices. And I'm going to define it. Alright, so the definition is it states an act an act of slaughtering an animal or person or surrendering surrendering a possession as an offering to God or to a divine or supernatural figure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shorten this up and we're going to draw a line down here. And I'm going to define it as Surrendering Surrendering a possession as an offering. to God and I'm not I'm going to leave out the or to a divine or supernatural figure I'm just going to put surrendering a possession as an offering to God um, because he is the only God he is the one and only we should only be sacrificing anything for him um, so and I'm going to take that and I'm going to write that same definition into my notes. Surrendering a possession as an offering. All right. And, and, the word sacrifice can go a long way, um, and it go with the Bible. Um, in particular, since we're talking about it, the word that it, what it represents in the Bible, um, we'll just stick with that and keep it in this scripture here. So, um, all right. So I'm going to take my yellow pen again. box the definition in okay like that okay all right all right so let's head over to Micah Six seven. It's be seventeen oh five. There we go. And if you guys can see, I added little tabs on to my Bible just found them on the internet, printed them out, and then um, I typed all of the names of the books in the Bible and cut them out and glued them on all of the tabs and then glued the tabs into my, well, I added tape on top of the, the tabs to give it a little bit more, um, a little more safety so they wouldn't rip or tear and then just glued them on to the pages. Alright, so Micah's Six verses seven and eight. There we go. All right. So I I'm going to read um, verse seven out loud first. Um, Will the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams, with ten thousands of rivers of oil? 
Shall I give my firstborn for my transgression, the fruit of my body for the sin of my soul? So that has a lot of footnotes. Um, Will the Lord be pleased is a footnote to 1 Samuel chapter 15, verse 22. And it has a number one behind the word with. So that is a footnote for or will the Lord accept. Okay. The next footnote is going to be, shall I give my firstborn for my transgression? the fruit of my body for the sin of my soul. And that is going to be reference to 2 Kings chapter 3 verse 27, chapter 16 verse 3, chapter 21 verse 6, chapter 23 verse 10, <clears throat> and if I'm saying this right, um, Leviticus chapter 18 verse 21 and that is going to be in reference to should I give my firstborn for my transgression the fruit of my body for the sin of my soul I don't know why I did that but I put the line <clears throat> in the wrong frock but it's alright All right, so verse eight. Okay, so the note here for um, verse seven actually is for verse six and seven. So I'm just going to read the Bible notes for it. With that, shall I come before the Lord? This is the question for all people in every age. Lord God on high, the com Convenital, convenital Lord is also the transcendent God. Shall I give? The values of the sacrifices escalate in attempt to discern the price for entering God's presence. The way in which the pr proposals increase in obscurity, ending with an outrage. Ten thousands of rivers of oil, my firstborn, shows that Micah is exposing an attitude that wrongly sees sacrifice as an entry fee, rather than that as an avenue for God to administer grace and forgiveness to the penitent, who will express thanks, um, as described in verse 8. For more on the prophet's approach to sacrifice, see notes on Amos chapter 4 verse 4 through 5. So I'm going to circle that footnote as well. Because it is in reference to verse 8, which is going to be the next one. Oops. Okay. And I'm going to add that to my notes here. circle it like that all right so verse 8 he has told you O man what is good and what does the Lord require of you but to do justice and to love kindness